Since it first arrived, the tank has grown so rapidly. This gives rise to the generation term for each tank. But how and what is the basis for the division of tank generations? The early history of the tank can be traced back to World War I. At that time, the fighting conditions of World War I on the Western Front led the British Army to think about developing a vehicle that could cross trenches, destroy barbed wire, and be impervious to machine guns. In 1915, the British developed a wheeled armored vehicle called the tank. These vehicles are used to help ground troops penetrate enemy lines. The Battle of the Somme, France, in 1916 marked the first use of tanks in combat, and that status is carried by the British-made Mark I. After that, tanks were used by various countries in almost every war and became one of the most important weapons in land battles. As technology develops, tanks become more sophisticated with features such as more sophisticated weapon systems, better shield systems, and better engine systems. This then gives rise to the generational division of the vehicle. If the fighter jet has entered the sixth generation, then the new tank reaches the fourth generation. The division of tank generations is based on two main things. That is the time of manufacture and technology that is carried. However, keep in mind that this division varies from country to country and also from a point of view, because each country producing tanks develops and introduces its tanks according to its own ideas and needs. So, let's get right into the discussion. The first generation. This generation of tanks was produced until the 1960s. The criteria for first-generation tanks generally include a simple design and fewer sophisticated features. In addition, the materials used are also simple, usually ordinary steel or other metals, in contrast to the next generation, which uses more sophisticated materials such as composites. Another distinctive feature of the first generation of tanks is that they still have deficiencies in terms of weapon systems and engine systems, which still have many problems. It also lacked a communication system, making it often difficult to coordinate between tanks. Some examples of tanks from the first generation are the Mark I, Mark II, and Mark III which were used in World War I. In addition, the British Centurion, Soviet T-54 and T-55, American M-47 and M-48 Patton, Type 61 from Japan, and many more. Second generation. This generation of tanks was built between the 1960s and 1970s and fixed all the weaknesses that existed in the first generation. Whether it's from design, use of materials, engines, weapon systems, or starting to introduce communication systems. The second generation had enhanced night fighting capabilities and, in most cases, NBC protection. Most Western tanks of this generation were armed with the 105mm Royal Ordnance L7 gun or its derivatives. Some examples of tanks from the second generation are the American M60, German Leopard 1, Panzer 61 from Switzerland, AMX 30 from France, Soviet T72, and many more. Third generation. This generation of tanks was produced between the 1970s and 1980s. The third generation main battle tank is characterized by the use of more advanced technologies, such as weapon stabilization systems and imaging systems. Third generation tanks use more sophisticated electrical systems, such as temperature control systems, battery charging systems, and motion control systems. In addition, it also uses a better braking system, like a hydraulic braking system or a disc brake braking system. The use of weapon systems is also more sophisticated, such as automatic weapon systems, fast bullet weapon systems, and long-range weapon systems. This generation of tanks used improved armor systems, such as those made of hardened steel or shields made of plated metal. The third generation tank communication system uses more sophisticated communication systems, such as long-range communication systems, satellite communication systems, and radio communication systems. Some examples of tanks in the third generation are the German Leopard 2, the American M1 Abrams, the British Challenger 2, the T-80 and T-90 from Russia, the French Leclerc, and many more. Fourth Generation Tanks in this generation were developed and built from 1980 to the present. The fourth generation of main battle tanks is characterized by the use of more advanced technologies, such as remote control systems and active protection systems. 
communication systems, weapons, and shields are also more capable, besides using a navigation system and a better orientation. Some examples of tanks from the fourth generation are the Type 10 from Japan, the K-2 Black Panther from South Korea, the Russian T-14 Armada, the German KF-51 Panther, the American Abrams X, and many more are under construction. But we say again that the exact definition of generation of tanks may vary between countries and sources, but at least this can give a little idea about the basic division of tank generations. So, that's all for today and see you in the next video.